In 1879, Constantine Falberg, a chemist working at Johns Hopkins University, made an accidental discovery that would forever change how we sweeten our food. After a long day researching coal tar derivatives, Falberg noticed something strange when eating dinner. His bread tasted unusually sweet. Realizing the sweetness came from chemicals on his unwashed hands, he returned to the lab and identified the compound as benzoic sulfamide, which he later named saccharin. Being 300 times sweeter than sugar but containing no calories or carbohydrates, saccharin quickly gained popularity, especially among diabetics who previously had no sugar alternatives. During World War I, sugar shortages led to widespread saccharin use, cementing its place in food production and households across America. Saccharin's success inspired scientists to develop other artificial sweeteners, including cyclamate in 1937 and aspartame in 1965, each with different chemical properties and sweetness levels. Controversy struck in the 1970s when studies linked saccharin to bladder cancer in laboratory rats, leading to warning labels on products containing the sweetener. Further research eventually disproved these concerns for humans, and by 2000, saccharin was removed from the list of potential carcinogens, fully rehabilitating its reputation. Today, artificial sweeteners have grown into a multi-billion dollar industry, with products like sucralose, stevia, and monk fruit joining saccharin in the ever-expanding market of sugar alternatives. What began as a lucky accident due to poor laboratory hygiene has evolved into sophisticated food science, demonstrating how chance observations, when followed with scientific curiosity, can revolutionize entire industries.